Away from work, can we talk about your private life for a second? <laughs> Depends how private you want to be. <laughs> um, how's your uh, love life at work? It's, <laughs> it's always part of the fascination for the media. Yeah, news. I know, though you would think they would get bored with it at a time. It's fine. I'm, uh, I, I haven't got a steady girlfriend. I'm on the move all the time. I, you know, my life is split between London, south of France, Dubai, and New York. Um, but I'm very, pretty pleased. I'm very, I, Last weekend was a triumph for me. I had my first weekend in London for seven weeks, and it was great. I put my feet up on Saturday, to, I had dinner with Hugh, Hugh Edwards and his wife on Saturday night, and then a lunch with a bunch of friends on Sunday. A lunch that started at 2 p.m. and finished at midnight. Wow. And that was great, a really nice bunch of people. Where was that? Scalini's in uh, Walton Street in Chelsea. So, uh, so things are, I'm a bit tired because it's been a tough year, but I'm, uh, I'm quite enjoying myself. So are you happily single? I would say I'm happily single. And where do you, where do you stand on marriage now? You, you mentioned that earlier. Well, I always thought I, I, always thought I would get married, yeah. although late. I always thought I would. I always thought it would happen. Now I'm less sure. I'm less sure because I think as you get older and you get, I, have my, I live a very selfish lifestyle. My whole life, indeed all my work, is all geared around me. Everything is to make it possible for me either to work hard or play hard. The houses in London and New York and France, the travel I do, the way I travel, everything is all designed to suit me. And that's because I'm trying to juggle so many things at once that it has to be that way or I wouldn't be able to do what I do. And I think that becomes increasingly hard for someone to fit into that. I think it becomes more difficult because it's become a status of that over a, a host of years. I mean, it's, uh, it would have been easier to get married when I was at the Sunday Times because although that was a strenuous job with long hours, it was one job with a set calendar, a set pace and rhythm to it, which someone else could then fit in and you could then accommodate whatever their work schedule was as well. And I think you can make, even busy people can make a relationship work. But I've got so many different things that I do. The demands of my time are enormous. I mean, this morning, for example, I got up at 4.30 because I had things to do. So what, what are you working average? Uh, so on Thursdays, it's an 18-hour day. Thursdays is a long day. I mean, I start, work, I start at 6 on a Thursday morning, and I finish at 1 a.m. on a Friday morning. So that would be, well, that's a 19-hour day. And you know, when you've finished work, you, when you've done that, I do three shows on a, It's easier with the magazines because they've just hit the newsstand, so you can take a break from the magazines. Yeah. But I've got three shows on a Thursday. You can't just get home at one o'clock in the morning and then just go to bed. You're kind of pumped up a bit. And you feel, you know, and you want to relax for a while. And I do. I usually try to watch some rubbish on television, something I've sky plussed. I like to have a nightcap, a cigar much more difficult for someone to fit. I mean, anyone who with me would rightly expect some time with them after. It's much easier for me just to unwind on my own. I think the thing that also makes it easier is, I know this is hard to believe, uh, and I've sometimes hard to believe, I actually quite like my own company. You know, the, the loneliness for me is different from being alone. When I'm alone, I'm not lonely. I mean, being alone for me is, is as good as it gets at times. Because so much of the time, I'm surrounded by friends and uh, work colleagues and having great time, like our 12-hour lunch or whatever it is. So I think you're only, I think, so, a couple of years ago, I spent Christmas Day on my own because I was so tired and I was down in the house in France and I just wanted to be on my own and have some wonderful food and a great bottle of wine and watch television. Something I was never allowed to do as a kid. We are never allowed to watch TV on Christmas Day. Because um, you had all your guests, all your aunts and uncles coming around. That's why I always prefer Boxing Day to Christmas Day. You got to do what you wanted, and and I wanted. To, and I said to my friend, old mate, I said, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to this. I was slightly apprehensive though. He said, no, no, there's a difference from being on your own and being lonely. You can be on your own because that's what you've chosen to do. To be lonely is to be on your own, and have no choice but to be on your own. 